evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to How We Got Here. F.L. Williams coming to you live here from the corner studio at my church, 850 Woodrow Avenue, Historic Selma, Alabama. As we know, we come to you each Monday night at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock on the East Coast. To just share with you how some things got put in my heart to share with you as how we got to where we are in America, in our lives, in our homes, community. So if you don't mind, please, man, please hit that share button. I believe it'll be a blessing to you. If you don't mind, please hit that share button and let people know we're on the air tonight. Uh, we're going to do some 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 things, hopefully be cutting edge. Hopefully it'll, it'll make you think, uh, make you think about where we are, how we got to this point. I want to share this with you, what God put on my heart. What a blessing to be with you. Thank you for each being with each Monday night. Uh, as we come, just try to share a little light as to what I believe God is saying to us uh, today. We are in critical times in America. I mean, as believers, we know time is shorter than what it's been. Um, uh, people, you've been saying it for so long. Well, it's closer than it was. <laughs> We're closer than, than our beginning. And, and, and so if God delays his coming, I mean, not getting better, it's getting worse. In the last days, he said, perilous times shall come. Wars and rooms of war, earthquake and diverse places. We had them, we have them all. I don't mean some distance. We having them now. Nations against nations, brother against brother, may be unthankful, unholy, uh, 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 false accusers, no self control. All these things happening right now. So how do we get to this point? We're gonna talk about that tonight. What we're gonna talk about? So hit that share button. Let them know uh, third minute, uh, how we got here with Bishop F. L. Williams is on the air tonight. Just so glad to have you. I'm so grateful for you being a part. I can't wait to do this teaching. Uh, so uh, hit that share button, share with others around us. I believe that it's going to be a blessing to you uh, tonight. As you know, we begin each Monday night, Acts chapter 17, verse 26. Acts 17, 26 is what we do every Monday night. So we're going to give it to you again tonight. Acts chapter 17, verse 26. And it reads as follows. And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. And had the term of the time before appointed and the bounds of that habitation. God, which means God simply from one blood, all of us. And he determined where you would be before you even got here. He determined that he did that before you got here. You're not some You're not a surprise to God. You're not some afterthought. God deliberately puts you here. He deliberately allowed you to get to where you are. Oh, you're not too early. You're not too late. You're right in time. On time. Yeah, right decade, right month, right year, right second, right century, everything. God knew that when you be here. All right? So God bless tonight. How did we get here, F.L. Williams? What is God telling you? I'm glad you asked me. We got here today. We got to where we are now because we have changed in our minds what was true. We have shifted the truth to fit the culture and not the culture following to the truth. We have, been, we have been given our own, we have walked in our own truths and have left God's truth to be, to be accepted if we wanted it. And that's how we got to this point. We, 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 we have all kinds of relationships. You do know the number one relationship in America now is no longer husband and wife. It's, it's just uh, 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 people living together, but not, not married uh, in, in the eyes of God. That's the number one living arrangement now. We've changed the truth into a lie. And, 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 and God has kept us. We, we've changed the truth, and God has kept us. And we've been so blessed, even in our arrows, in our things doing, God still gave us a mind. But I'm telling you what happened. The text tells us in Romans chapter 1, we, I'm telling you, we've changed the truth. And the reason why we're where we are today, the reason how our children are where they are, our homes are where they are, our communities are where they are, how we got to this point was that we have walked away from the truth and established our own truth as it fits us. The culture now is dictating truth and not truth to the culture. And that should, and that should not be. All right? So, so, so it's, it's the truth that we have. We're changing the truth until a lie. We're changing the truth into a lie. So therefore, we, now we have problems. We have issues with our truth. Watch this. Romans chapter, let me, let me show you what God has done. Romans chapter one. Romans chapter one. And watch what happened now. Uh, let's read it, verse 21. Romans one, verse 21. He said this. 
because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of God into an image like unto a corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. We put man's opinion, we put politicians' opinion above God. Putting, we put our political allegiance above what the Spirit of God, above our brothers and sisters. And Paul said, be, be, he said, be ready to uh, do good to all men. Paul said, do good unto all men, especially unto those who are the household of faith. Not black, not white, but of the household of faith. Do good unto all men, especially unto those of the household of faith. But we change the truth. Make it fit us. We're trying to make the we 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 we've trained we've made the culture be more important than the truth. We let the culture change the truth until the truth changing the culture, and that's how we got to this point. Look at look at what around us, but we ain't helpless. Turn to the Lord, return to me, and I'll turn to you. Say the Lord, we're not we're not helpless or hopeless. Watch this, and then verse twenty three. I mean, I'm sorry, 24. Wherefore, listen, wherefore God gave them up also, gave them up into uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts, dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God. Listen, y'all, who changed the truth of God into a lie, who changed the truth of God into a lie. God said, and before I, before I even got this scripture, I just got this when I start when we start talking. Because when he gave me this earlier today to talk about truth, I didn't have this written down on my paper, uh, Romans 1. This was just given to me uh, since we started. So I know what the Holy Ghost is doing. The Holy Spirit leading this. So my, my point to you is, he said, we change the truth of God into a lie. Instead of the truth changing the culture, we try to make the culture change the truth. Now, it can't change the truth, but it's our perception of truth. We Perception is our reality. What we perceive as truth, we're going to act that way upon it. What we perceive to be truth, we're going to act upon it. You, you, you follow me? Watch this. So, so he said again in, in, in uh, verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Verse 26, for this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use of into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men leave the natural use of a woman, bring the lust toward another man. Men with men working that which is unseemly, receiving themselves that recompense of their error which it was met. 28, this is what I'm getting at. Even And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Do you see that? So in other words, God gave them over. So God kept, God's been keeping our minds though we was in error, but he, let us, he didn't let us lose our, but now God gave them over. Paul said he gave them over to reprobate mind. What's it a reprobate mind? This is what it is. He, he abandoned them to their own thinking. Let them do things that they should never be done. Today, anything goes. And our children are faced with this. And we had to raise them in a, in a situation where they, they ain't no right or wrong, where everything goes. If we're not grounded and rooted in the word of God, I'm telling you, it will make us lose our minds. And that's what is happening, how we got to this point. That the truth that that, 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 that that has been standing, God's word is truth. You shall know the truth. That's what he said. And the truth shall uh, set you free, make you free. But that truth makes you free. It's what you accept as truth and act upon it. And that's how we got to this point today. The truth that we know will help us. The truth that we know, the truth that we know is being pushed aside for a culture truth and a now truth, not the truth. It can be a truth. There's a difference between the truth and a truth. He didn't say you shall know a truth and a truth shall make you free. He said, thou shall know the, tr know the, T-H-E, the truth and the truth shall make you free. It shall set you free. You, you, you see the difference in, in it. And so when I, when I establish my own truth, then I'm not governed by the truth. 
And that's what happened in America. Anything goes. I mean, every kind of general, every kind of organization in, 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 in division, we're, we're, we're so divided. We're divided by, by gender. We're divided by race. We're divided by color. We're divided by ethnicity. We're, we're divided by uh, denomination. We're divided by political affiliation. All these divides that we got. And the truth stands on the outside trying to get into what we know that would change us. Only truth can change you, not the culture. You may change to the culture, but the culture cannot change your inside. That takes the word of God. That takes God himself. You shall know the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the light. Nobody comes to the father, but by me. And that's how we got to this point today, brothers and sisters. That's why our homes are in, in turmoil. Our communities are in, in perils. Our children are struggling. Come on. We have our young children being faced with, with depressions and suicidal thoughts like never before. Because that truth is not being, pre- being preached. He said, train them up in the way they should go. And when they get old, not depart. But it's, not, it's, it's happening all around us. We are pushing the truth to the side for a culture truth. For a for a for a now truth versus the truth, or for a truth versus the truth, and we're changing it to a lie. Paul said, "Turning the truth of God into a lie and doing what we want to do." So God gave them over to a, a reprobate mind, the base mind, to do whatever they want to do. And tell me, we ain't got that today in our homes, in our schools, in the community, in our states, in our cities, in our country. God said, "Turn to me; I'll turn to you." God said, Paul said, I, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, except the God which is a reasonable servant, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You may prove what's the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Look at what's happened to us all over the country. War still going on in the Middle East. Russia and Ukraine fighting. All the other wars that's going on everywhere. Wars against war. Look at the the, the, the catastrophe, uh, c- catastrophic things that happened concerning our environment and things that happened. And we still don't take note in the last days, perilous time gonna come. But oh, thank God, He know how to deliver us out of un, out of out of the danger. He said, "I'll never forsake you nor leave you." Glory to God. Be be anxious for nothing, but through prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. You, we got this. God is not leaving us out there by ourselves. But we got to turn to him, <laughs> not from the truth, run to the truth, not a truth, run to the truth. And that truth makes us free today. In Jesus' name, what an awesome God did we serve. They didn't want to retain God and knowledge. God gave them to rebel mind. The only thing standing us between us uh, and, and, and our minds being destroyed is God holds us. Even when we're not walking the way we should, until they give us over, we can't lose our minds. So we return to him, to the truth. But we have walked away from truth and he stabs our own truth. We've established our own way of doing things. And every way that's not God is of the flesh. And what is of the flesh dies. I made a note this morning. Truth is not as we just know it, but as we accept it. See, the truth of the day or the truth of the culture won't affect us unless we accept it. What they're doing in the world won't affect us until we accept that world as truth. When the writer John plainly tells us, love not the way the world do or the world doing, neither the things of the world, for the things in the world are the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. They're not of God, they're of the world. And they that in the world cannot please God. Make sense? How do we get here? That, this is how we got to where we are. We walked away from the truth. And we want, we want a truth. We want a truth, but not the truth. A truth may make you feel good about yourself. The truth will change your life. A truth can give you a false sense of security. Thus, truth can give you eternal life with a certainty. With a certainty. Make sense? It is the, here's the thing. We can't change revealed truths. We can't change revealed truths. 
the enemy wants to fight revealed truth. He can't, he can't stop it. He just don't want it to be revealed to you and to me. He wants you to accept a truth, but not the truth. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. We change that. Anything goes now. No right or wrongs. Let them do, let, let girls be this, let boys be this. Let families do this, let men do that, let women do that. No right or wrong. And we suffer the consequences of our actions. It's the truth makes us free. You can't legislate uh, morality, only the truth can change it. That I accept it as truth. Our children go to school, got to hear stuff, got to go to the community, got to hear stuff. They come home, what do they hear? Do they, do they hear the truth at home? Do they hear the truth when we sit around the table, sit around watching TV or whatever? Do they hear the truth? That's the only thing that can free them. Not social media, not that little groups and clicks and things, not TikTok, not Instagram, not Facebook, not all the social platforms or whatever it may be. The truth is the truth that sets us free. And when we change the truth of God to a lie, we suffer the consequences of that. In the last days, evil times, perilous times shall come. But the perilous time can't change the truth. Jesus told us, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. He said, I'll never forsake you nor leave you. I'll leave you another comfort, comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. That's the truth. Trust in the Lord all your heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge God. He'll direct your path. That's the truth. See, now we want, here's what, he's, here's what I wrote this morning too. He said, tell them we have, we have gotten away from the truth for a personal truth. What fits me? What fits F.L. Williams? It may not be the truth, but this is my truth. My family truth. My community truth. My church's truth. No. What is the truth? So we have personal truth that may be anti the truth. And it gets us to how we got here today. We're not walking in the truth. We've changed it, make it fit the culture. So the culture fitting the truth. Then now, no, that's old school. You old timer, you old school. You that's that's you can't you can't make kids do it today. You gotta change how you do it. You can't change the truth. You can't change the truth. So instead of preaching the truth or teaching the truth or, 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 or requiring the truth, we have a personal truth. Yeah. A personal truth. What does it do? The personal truth give me give me uh, an out. That's what I see it as. That's how don't, don't mess with me, man. Let me have my my truth. You entitled to your opinion. Sure you are. You you entitled to your opinion, but your opinion can't change the truth. And that's how we got to where we are today. <laughs> but we're not helpless. God is the way, the truth, and the light. Christ is the way, truth, and light. No man comes to the Father except they come through Christ. That's the teaching we know, and that's not changing because somebody don't believe it. Come on, he shall know the truth. Uh, again, M Miles Monroe said, uh, man, uh, man is only free by the truth that he knows. And I added on to it, man is only free by the truth he knows and the truth that he accepts. And I want to say, and act upon it. To know you got money in the bank does you no good until you can access to it. Make sense? That's a personal truth. Then we got half truth. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Don't, don't make me go. I'm not going to go all the way out, Bishop. I'm just going to stay a little bit in. But don't make me do all the way in. I think Revelation called it lukewarm. And the Lord said, because you're not hot or cold, you're lukewarm, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And I, I'm going to say it this way. A half truth is a whole lie. Half truth is a whole lie. So I can't have a half truth and walk in the truth. No, a half truth is a whole lie lie how do we get here folks we're changing the truth what was true then y'all it's true now you may not accept it I may not accept it I may not agree with it but don't change the fact that it is the truth is the truth and you can't change it because you don't like it make sense half truth is a whole lie now the truth Fights the culture if is it accepted. The culture truth, in other words, what's today? Or, or you call it maybe a now or a, a now truth. Fights the truth which is in Christ Jesus 
We miss the truth trying to maintain what the world or the culture dictates as truth. Our children ain't got to do this. We don't make them do this. We don't make them honor uh, the, the, the parents. We don't make them honor adults. We don't make them honor authority. We, we, we don't require them to walk upright. We, we have the, you know, our children are exposed to the criminal justice system at, at, at 12 and 13 year old kids. I see them. What's a 12, 13 year old ch- child doing in, 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 in the criminal system, the criminal justice system? What, what, where, where do they go but to school at home? Where can they be to being un, under supervision? But the culture said, let them kids be kids. You had your fun. Yeah. But we also told to train them up in the way that you go. And we get old enough to part. God, please, somebody put this in, 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 in the comments. God's intent is for every child to succeed. I can prove that to you. I love it. Ephesians, please, Paul, tell us what you told the children in Ephesians 6, verse 1 through 3. Okay, I feel I'm glad you asked me. What, what do you want to tell them? Tell them what it says. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, that it might be well with to me. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. What else, Paul? That it might be well with thee, and that thou might live long on the earth. That's the text. But if I don't require them to obey, if I don't require that they uh, do what is right, then now I am shorthanding them and making their road difficult. But if I train them up the way they should go, I can get them a leg up to their prosperity. Oh, my, 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 my. Y'all, every generation, listen, when the truth stopped being relayed or passed along, it becomes less and less important to the next generation. Whatever we stop teaching in our generation, then the next generation will have no clue what we're talking about. Authority, spankings, we're no timeouts. They took time out from beating us and correcting us. Boy, don't think, oh, go, to your, go to your room. Yeah, go to your room because I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. Not go to your room and stay till I come get you, till I tell you come out. No. You would run to that room and lock the door if you could because you know what's coming once you got in that room. We don't, so we stop it. And you, you've heard me tell this story several times before. I heard this guy, heard this guy teach this. And he told a story about his wife was cooking and cooked half of the roast. And, I was put the other, and then cooked the other part. And he asked her, why are you cooking only half of the roast? Her reply was, this is the way my mother taught me. He couldn't understand, so he went to his mother-in-law. He said, he said uh, mother-in-law, you taught you know, my wife to teach only, cut only, cook only half of the roast? And she said, yes, that's the way my mother taught me. Just cook half of it. You see what I'm talking about? How, how truth get, get short, shortage or, or changed or, or make it fit the culture. Cultures are now truths. So he went to the grandmother. He said, Grandma, you taught your daughter who taught my wife. They only cook half of the roast. And she told him, she said, son, I only cooked half of it because the stove would not hold, could not cook the whole roast at one time. The full truth would not pass along. But what was passed along became true for them. And that's what's happening to us today. We're passing along stuff that's not the truth. It is a personal truth or a cultural truth or a now truth, but not the truth. And we suffer the consequences. I'll say it again. Jesus said what? Ye shall know the truth and that truth shall make you free. And then whom the son said free is free indeed. But the, but the culture is trying to erode. The culture can't erode the truth. It's just that we don't accept it any longer. The culture can't change the truth. The culture that make the truth not 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 affect because we don't walk in it. So we have the we have the the personal truth. Then we have these cultural truths. And then then this is what I made a note. Then he gave me this. He said, "Tell them then we got a change in truth. We have a we have a change in truth." They call it, 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 it's, it's a, it, it's not, it's not solid. It's, 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 it's fluid, which means it shifts. What's true today may not be true five years from now. That's culture. That's culture. And so we get what we have now. So this is how we got to where we are tonight, families. This is how we got to where we have tonight, 
church. This is how we get what we got tonight, community. This is how we got what we have tonight, state, city, nation. We shift, we got these changing truths. And we just read to you in Romans, we said we're changing the truth of God into a lie. And Paul plainly told us in Romans chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, chapter 12, verse 1 and, verse 1 and 2, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Wow. I think I read. I think I read to you earlier. I, I won't give it to you again because just the Spirit just gave, told me to bring it up again. Uh, uh, the teaching we did, Exodus chapter twenty three again. Exodus chapter twenty three again, verse twenty five. We also have verse twenty five. We read twenty six as well. Now listen to this. What he tells us now, now. Now, if we worshiped Him, the truth. Now this is the truth. He said, "They that worship Me must worship Me in spirit and in truth." Right? He said, "They that worship Me must worship Me in spirit and in truth." Right? Listen what listen what we if we worship him, God, thank you tonight. I know I'm not in church, but I'm, I'm, I'm but I feel this. We got here because we changed it, we try to change the truth. This is what he says in, in Exodus 23, 25, and 26. He said this. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. And he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Wow. You shall know the truth. The truth shall make you free, set you free. And they that worship him, <coughs> excuse me, must worship in spirit and in truth. And if I worship, look what he said. You shall worship me. You must worship him only. The New Living Translation says, you shall worship the Lord, Lord God only. He said, then I'm going to bless your bread and your wine and your water. Then he says, and I'll take sickness from the midst of thee. Next verse, 26. There shall, not, there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of days I will fulfill. Wow. Do you see this? Oh, wait, nothing going to fail. If you worship me, nothing be unfruitful. If you worship me, and then my, one of my favorite Psalms, Psalms one, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. He shall be like, excuse me, he shall be like a tree planted by the root of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. And whatsoever you do, it shall prosper. Oh, man. That's the truth. That's the truth. He said, thou shalt have no other God before me. We putting other gods before God, but want godly outcomes. We want, we want to do our, we want our own truth, but we want eternal life. Our way. We want to serve God, but on our own terms. We want to love each other on our own terms. No, no. They asked him, Master, trying to trick him. The Pharisees and tried to trick him. Says, Hey, what is the greatest commandment? He said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God, all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy strength, all thy might. Oh, love with everything you got, everything you are. And then he said this, And love your neighbor. As yourself. These are the two great commandments. On these hang all the prophets in the law. Oh, you can you can bank everything else on those two commandments. Love the Lord all your heart, all your soul, all your might, all your strength, and love each other as you love yourself. All your heart. That's the truth. Now we can water it down, try to make it fit us. God God recognizes uh, the sanctity of marriage, of life. God recognizes. Relationship, he recognized holy living. He ain't gonna change how we don't want to fit it. He ain't gonna change because of that. He ain't changing it. Just because you call it holy, that don't mean it's holy. Just because you call it unholy, don't mean it's unholy. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs 14 and 12. Your ways, Isaiah 55, 8 and 9 said, Your ways are not God's ways. Your thoughts are not God's thoughts. The heavens are higher than earth. 
So God, so God ways in your ways and God thoughts in your thoughts. We have to fit him and him not fit us. It's not optional. The truth will make you free. Ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Jesus said, I am the way. I can't argue, we can't argue what nobody else believe. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and that truth shall make you free. Know that truth. I am the way. Jesus said, the truth and the life. No man, that's what he said, can come to the Father but through me. Now, I can't change what nobody else believe. That's what, that's what I believe by faith. By faith. The truth. And, 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 when you, and when we change the truth into a lie, we get the consequence of our actions. We have changed. We've, we, we've got our own personal truths. We got the, what I call now the cultural truth. The culture do what you want to do when you want to do it. Ain't no right or wrong. There are no boundaries, but their boundaries are necessary. But there are none. But I heard the word says, Come unto me, all you that are laborers and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. I'm meek and lowly. You should find rest for your weary soul. My yoke is easy, my burden is light. Hebrews says, now we can come bold to the throne of grace to obtain mercy to find grace to help in time of need. He is waiting on us to turn. He's waiting on us to return. But if we keep walking in a truth, walking in a personal truth, walking in a culture truth, walking in a change in truth, we will never walk in the truth. Have truths a whole lies. Fun. He doesn't change. He said, I am God and I change not. Therefore, your sons are not consumed. I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. It ain't going to change how we don't want to. Have you noticed that people want their truth and they don't want the truth to infringe upon their truth? Their way of living, their way of talking, their way of doing things. And, and then we, we, we miss the point where the truth sets us free. So, so, so thank you. So if I'm not walking in the, the truth, I'm in bondage. I don't care how I'm living. I don't care how good I think I may be living. I'm in bondage. If I don't accept the truth, then everything I'm doing is from a bondage situation, from a place of bondage. May not be able to see it, but in his, in his, in the word, what do you tell You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Then I can't be free unless I walk in the truth. So with me, everything I'm doing, if it's not, um, uh, in his name, then I'm walking in bondage. Mm. From a place of bondage. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Don't let somebody else's opinion make you walk in error. Don't let somebody else's thoughts make you walk in, in bondage. The same yesterday, today, and forever. If you told us not to, it didn't change because you don't want to do it. If you told us to do it, it doesn't change because you won't do it. It's the truth. That's what set us free. And we can't change the truth of God into a lie. Now God can get us happy. He can give us over to a reprobate mind. He can give us over to a reprobate mind to do those things that are not common, that's not seemly. If we know it, listen. To know to do a thing, to him who knows to do it and does it not, that thing becomes sin. For him to know to do a thing and he does it not, to him it becomes sin. Isn't that something? I, 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 want, I, want, I want to challenge us tonight. Seek it. Investigate. Is that true? Is that scriptural? Can I back it with the text? Because I got to give you this one. This is it. This is the last one. And I won't stop. See, if, 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 the, if the Bible is not truth, if the word of God is not the truth, if the word of God is not the truth, if, if, if it's one part of here is in error, <clears throat> then we don't know which part to believe. So I, I take the word as being God's inspired infallible word. You can believe what you want to believe. That's me, right? 
as believers, we, as believers, we, we have no choice in the matter. Listen, listen what Paul told Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 3. And he said this in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 16. All 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 through 17. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished to, every good, to all good works. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. So, I'm trying to find out which part is true, which part is not. I accept all of that truth. And that frees me to be what God wants me to be, to do what God wants me to do. But how do we get here, America? How do we get here, body of Christ? How do we get here, families? How do we get here, community? How do we get here, our states and cities? Because we want a truth, but not the truth. A truth will make you feel good. The truth will change you. A <laughs> big difference, man. A truth will make you feel good about yourself. The truth will let you see the need for salvation that you can't bring on yourself. My brothers and sisters, this is how I see it tonight, on this Monday night. Thank God for an opportunity to share with you. I don't know who this is for, but the truth is what's going to set you free. Find the truth, not a truth, the truth. What did God say about family? What did God say about relationship? What did God say about uh, uh, walking upright? right? What did God say about righteousness? What did God say about supporting leaders? What did God say about prayer? What did God say about living saved? What did God say about holy lifestyle? What did he say about those things? What did he say about the truth? Jesus said, I am my father one. If you've seen me, you've seen the father. The truth shall make you free. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit. And in truth, thank you so much for your time tonight. I appreciate you taking your time. I pray that something was said, at least make you think. <laughs> I hope it just make you think. Love you, the love of Christ. Want to see us all be just get busy. Just, just, just don't let don't let the, the don't, don't let the current truth or the culture truth change the truth in you. Hold on to it. It'll set you free. It'll set you free. God bless you. Thank you for being a part. We we'll back next next Monday night, same time as how we got here. Until then, God bless you. Have, have a great week. See you next time.